Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will guide you how you can easily use PicSpy. PicSpy is easy to use software and I believe after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. So let's click here, get started for free and let's jump right to the tutorial. So you can uh, continue with Google or Facebook and I'm going to add a full name. So I'll Marcus Stonelius and I'm going to add an email address right here and password. And then start a free trial. In the moment when you're going to have it, you need to specify your site. So I'm going to have it, let's say Marcus Tonelius, okay, and let's say I'm in business. Of course, you can choose between all the categories that you see here and then press continue. And let's see here. Pick a website template as you as your starting point. So here we're going to choose the template that you actually like for your site. You can go with the old templates or popular ones or new. Or you can also change the categories here as a fashion style, personal, as a blog, travel, lifestyle, wedding or creative or business and service. So let's say I'm going to choose uh, this one, the color. I like it. So you can always preview the template how it looks like and then you're going to just start with the color or start with the template that you want. Now here we are and what we can actually find. So in the moment when you entered Pixpa, I'm going to remove my camera now so you can see everything and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So on the left side, you're always going to find a dashboard. Here you're going to have the things that you have to do as let's say build your website, customize site, design, start your online store. Then under dashboard, you're going to have a website. And here is going to get you directly to the site and you can edit it and add menu items. We will get to it. Then you're going to find a store. In a store, you can easily like enable selling products and I'm going to show you how you can actually do it and use it. Then you can have the client gallery here and you can easily add albums here, share proof, deliver and sell images to your clients, gallery apps. Then we're going to have the marketing SEO here and we will get to it too. So I'm just showing you what we can actually find here. Then you can have the payments and donations. And here you can have like see uh, the donations that you would have. So now I'm going to click on the website and let's see what we can do here. So here I can find the menu. You can easily change the menu. Hoppa. Let's go back. And to edit the site, you always have to click on uh, like the menu item that you want. So we're going to have the about, you can always add a new menu item. You can add a page, you can add a gallery, a link, a block, folder drop down, separate or import page. So you can always add the things that you want here. Like, I don't know if you want to have a page or gallery, but let's say we have an investment here and let's say we want to have a new page, which is going to be page title. Uh, what we do, right? Continue. Then when I'm clicking on the page, I can simply choose a template or about or contact or gallery or portfolio. So let's say we can choose the portfolio one. So like this one here or FAQ landing pages. And I can simply choose this one here. So you can simply add a page and choose from the templates in the moment when you're going to add it here, we can edit every single thing here. So you can have sections here so you can add a con content on the top right. You can always edit the content so you can change the full width, the medium, the alignment of the text, the position. Then you can have option to change even the colors, the background image that we all, all right now have and focal point. So let's say where it's going to look. Now you can always add a section here. And you can add all of these sections. So this is like really easy to simple to use if you're going to follow with me in here. I can simply add a section of cover 
a list, a headline. So let's say we could like add this headline here and you can always manage it. And you can have uh, on the top right, add a section, add a content and you can manage the headline here, right? So you're going to have what we do and you can click manage headline, primary image, you can upload or delete title, subtitle, and you can add a description. So you can always edit every single thing that you see in Bixper. Button text, button size, button color, all of that you can change. So when we go further, even what kind of sections we can add, we can add banners on the top. We can simply add a galleries, images here, also the text. or contact. So let's say you would like to have that someone is going to contact you and I can add this to the section. Get uh, in touch and you can always click here manage form. And here you would have a field that you want to have from um, like your people that are going to come to your website and you can add a name, you can add a text, text area, email, number, drop down, checkbox, radio, date picker, separator. Then you can have the form submission that yes, specify up to three emails to receive notification from this form. Like what is going to be the email that you're going to get the email, right? And then you can have to send to Google Sheets or export data. So this is how you can work with, like, let's say a contact form. You can always click add a section. And guys, if you can have any questions regarding Pixpa, what do you want to learn? Let me down below in the comments. You can have also the payments donation. This is something really amazing to have. So I can click add to the section and you can always move it, right? So you can make it up or down. And here I can again manage a form. So here I'm going to have the fields and accept payment. So we need to set up the manage payment methods. And then you're going to have the form submission sent to email. And that's pretty much it. So now you can also click here, add a section and I can have a newsletter. So that's another thing what I recommend to have in your website. And again, manage fields here and then submit small button size, inward button, no, and then message HTML and then you would get all the people directly on your website. Location, video and music that you can add, FAQs, testimonials, social products and blog fin. And all of these you can easily add to your website. And this is how you can simply edit the page. So I can again click what we do here. And this is these are the things that we added, right? So you can always create it as much as you want. Like, like let me down below in the comments, what do you want to build or how we want to build it? And I'm going to uh, like help you. So that's how it's possible. Now I can simply go back here and I'm going to show you the next step that we can do. So here we have the menu. You're always going to have the options here that you can change the template and design. cookie information you can have in options that you can have it on announce bar pre footer all the juicy stuff that you can add and then when you're going to be inside the menu you can see, simply add like a menu item here as i mentioned you can edit the content so all of that you can even move it so you see right now that it's like everything is changing this is the first thing and we add it home directly to our portfolio right, that you can even have a drop down here. So under portfolio, under the blog, I can add to portfolio, the book of session again to portfolio, because it's a folder. 
So when you can want to create a folder, you would click plus here and you can simply add a folder drop down. Then when we know how to edit the website, it was like introduction. Like if you want to have a specific website, let me down below in the comments. I'll be ha really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. And then uh, you're going to have the store here. So here you're going to have the store dashboard and you're going to find like sell products and you can enable it. So if you want to uh, enable selling products, guys, go with this right now with Turtle and I'm going to show you how we can do it. So here when you're going to have a product, you're going to have sales here and new products and I can simply manage the product. So under the dashboard, you're going to have also the orders and I can simply add a product or I can simply find the customers. Then in the catalog, I'm going to have a product and you're going to have all the products right here. So what, how we can add a product is when you would go to the top right and click add a product and then you're going to have a physical product, digital download or service. So I can simply click here physical product. And let's wait here and I can simplify add here. Like, let's say it's going to be, uh, picture. So Starcraft to picture, then you're going to add a text. It's a picture from Starcraft to game. And then you're going to have the visibility if it's active, hidden, coming soon or unpublished. And then you're going to add simply images here. So let's say I'm going to add an image of a game. And then you're going to have like the visibility and then product price. Right. And then you're going to have the info sections here, provide more information about the product, store the listing as a category. So it can be like, if you're going to have the categories, you would have it right here and then shipping like the weight and then inventory, like track inventory or do not track inventory. This is something that you would also add an SQ quote code. Then you're going to have the product options that you can simply add an option. You can enable product options for this product on the store. So that's another thing what you can do. And you can simply add options. Like let's say it would be a uh, small, medium, big, and this is where you can find and add all the option sizes. Now, again, if something is not going to be, this is just the overview of a PIXPA. Uh, if something's not going to be easily to understood, let me down below in the comments and I'll recreate the tutorial on that too. And then you're going to have the license, usage instructions, search engine optimization. So page URL, page title, page description, and then also the page code injection. So now when you're going to have the product, you can simply also find uh, in your inventory or your product. Let's disconnect with the Starcraft 2. And I can go like save here. Now, of course, you can simply sell images to here. And have a discount. So that's another thing what you can do. Then I'll have also like shipping here. Like from where you're going to ship, then also the taxes for your products, tax rate, and also the storefront that you can like view how it looks like with all the products. So this is like how the store looks like. And then you're going to have also options to have design here as layout, product listing and sorting and settings. So email address, everything here about your store. And when you're going to have the store here and when we know the website in the client gallery, you would have all the albums that you can have 
orders, etc. So then you're going to have also the marketing SEO, payment donations. In marketing SEO, this is the last thing, thing that I want to show you, is that you can simply uh, have it at the SEO description about your website. Then you would have also the marketing pop-ups here. You can make announcement or create emails pop-up. That's what you can do. And also on App Store, you can always uh, add applications as Google Sheets, Instagram, Stripe, connect with uh, PayPal. And you're gonna have plenty of applications that you can actually use. So that's pretty good. And then the design here. And here, this is the design, like let's say a template that you can change. The title and logo, the sizes and everything. So this is something that I recommend definitely to play around with to have it perfect. Then also the option to have a text, galleries, button and links and also the footer. And that's pretty much it. So if you can have any questions guys regards Pixpa, let me down below in the comments. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you are going to have a great day and see ya and goodbye.